Theodore Roosevelt once said that comparison is the thief of joy. Think about it. You're cool with your car until you see the new model that came out or you park next to a nicer one. It's kind of like how things work with our spiritual journeys too, isn't it? We look at ours and it's all good until we start hearing other stories and suddenly ours doesn't seem so exciting. It doesn't seem like such a drastic change. We don't have this big come to Jesus moment because we've kind of been a Christian forever, right? Jesus has always been a part of our life, right? We're like a day one, sort of like Andrew in the Gospels. Andrew is probably best known for being Peter's brother, but he was one of the first people to hang out with Jesus. He was one of the first people to start walking around with Jesus. He was there from the beginning and his story doesn't have all the crazy ups and downs and twists and turns like Peter's, but his story is consistent and he's always with him. And that's not something that we should celebrate any less or be in amazement of any less. Longevity shouldn't be any less amazing to us and consistency shouldn't be any less awe-inspiring than any other story. We need to stop comparing stories and start comparing saviors because no matter how long or short or crazy or normal the story is, the savior is always the same. The point of your story is not your story, it's Jesus.